is Kenneth Hansen. I'm the lead uh, program manager for PowerShell. Been working on the team for far too many years to say, since early V1s writing the first requirement stock and, and uh, most of the APIs, and just had a good time with it. Um, I think I've been asked to answer a couple of questions. The first one is, what's my favorite feature in V3? And this is uh, an impossible question to answer. So <laughs> I'll tell you what I like best about V3 um, and the features that allow me to say that, and then you know, I can get uh, pressed for a more precise answer, maybe. The, um, what I like best about v V3 is the way it enables a new set of people to use PowerShell. And a number of things let us do that. Uh, first and foremost is just fixing a whole ton of you know, bugs and problems that might have discouraged people originally, including among them the uh, ability to make it easier just to do simple commands that people are used to, like dir. So dir you know, slash ad was a very common form uh, in the old command line. And we have improved our aliases so that in PowerShell, you can get the same uh, easy benefit with their dash AD. It's just a, a very natural way to do it. And so in that case, we're just trying to take what people currently know and bring them into PowerShell with that more comfortably. So as they can um, start to use the real power of the rest of the environment once they get started. So that's, again, just an on-ramp for people to use PowerShell. Workflow is another case where uh, we have made it possible for a whole new class of IT pros to do their work in PowerShell and to get a uh, great benefit from the rest of it. We've incorporated workflow into a scripting language um, in a way that's very natural and, and I think will make a huge difference in the industry. You could make the same argument with the significant performance work that's been done and integration with the DLR. And last but not least, uh, we certainly have done a great deal of work in the integrated scripting environment in ISC, and I think we'll see that moving forward as we try to um, attempt to make that almost more the, the default that people will normally use so they can get all the benefits of IntelliSense and of the shell command capability where they can see all the commands that are available for any module or, or for the task they want to do. And so that integration of command line and not really a normal GUI, but just beginning to just sort of get a visualization of what's possible and being able to integrate those should bring a whole new set of users into PowerShell and enable them to get at the rest of the system. So overall, my, my sense is that with this release, that will have a significant uptake over years. It takes a while for anyone to adopt a new technology, but I think a few years from now, we'll be looking back uh, very pleased with the continued growth in, in PowerShell just because we made it easier and easier for people to to get at it. That's sort of a, that's sort of my favorite feature, so to speak. The feature being enabling a bunch of people to get at it, and we do that with a you know a bunch of sub things. Now, what's still missing? That's a very long list. Um, we've probably made it, I don't know, a third of the way through you know the original uh, vision of uh, of PowerShell, and that was developed you know eight nine years ago. So. There's plenty of work to do. Even simple things like compensating actions, if you will, um, instead of just simply a transactions, for example, if you wanted to get to, into some serious uh, provisioning and deprovisioning work, uh, uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, you don't have to have them to do it, but it would certainly uh, be useful. It would be very helpful to have a uh, UI, graphical user interfaces, more automatically generated. We have a wealth of information in the way we do commandlets and the way we do modules. It would not be uh, difficult at all to envision creating a, uh, a user interface or a graphical user interface almost automatically that at least would get you started in a starting place. You could sort of go on with that for a very long time. There's a number of uh, feature areas that, that would really change the way PowerShell is used throughout the industry and again bring more people on right that's part of what we want to do we just want to make it a very easy technology for people to adopt and yet a very powerful technology once they have adopted it those are two seemingly opposing visions but we do sort of believe in the 
the power of and in PowerShell, it's not just about command line, it's about command line and GUI. It's not just about GUI, it's about command line and GUI. Again, we want to, either way you come at it, we want to be able to uh, support you and bring you into it, the world of automation and uh, robust management. Um, let's see, other questions. Um, I'm pulling my glasses here. Oh, how do you see the future of PowerShell? It's brilliant. <laughs> Future PowerShell is brilliant. It's going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful future. We're uh, looking forward to it. As I say, I think we'll have uh, really a great deal of growth over the next uh, next years, both in use cases and then in people getting benefit from it. We love, and we get many of them, we love the emails that tell us about people's success and what they've been able to do with the product. They frequently end with, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, or I'm so awesome because they have done something that they could never do before and that just that thrills us and I think that'll just continue. Um, we are also very aware that people get frustrated uh, with it and we love to hear those stories as well because we want to fix them. You know if there's things we can do we want to make sure those people are enabled and can uh, and can really uh, enjoy, enjoy uh, the benefits. Uh, what can we do to help better adoption of PowerShell I think is sort of the last uh, the last question Boy, um, we're doing what we can. Um, <laughs> depends on the word we. Uh, overall, the community, I think, remains really our best advocate. I would say uh, word of mouth and people's personal experience in terms of having success with it and then just telling people about it will really increase the adoption. Um, and then also telling us, you know, when you succeed and when you fail so that we have a good sense as to what works and what didn't work so we can change and... And, and shift our thinking or, or the product or the way we talk about the product or, or the materials. We certainly need more and more um, uh, just, just materials out there so that people can, can learn about it, can see success stories, can, uh, can share the challenges and then how they, how they overcame it as they try to automate their environments and, and do great things. Thank you, Kenneth.